so nice. Thank you so much for your support of our channel. We just passed 10,000 views. If you want to see more great content, give us a like and subscribe. Welcome to Twin Turbo. This is the city of Seattle. And one of the first things we found in the city of Seattle is even if you attempt a trick on a skateboard, they will throw the fish for you. Squirrel. So, of course, I noticed this red FJ Cruiser as I was in the Seattle Fish Market. It is the Trail Teams version and the Toyota Racing Development version. Beautiful. And if you are ever in the city of Seattle or in the Pacific Northwest, I highly recommend the Museum of Pop Culture. It is wonderful. It's fun. And you can see some of the sites there. There's also the Chulili Museum. Um, it was a little boring for me. It's a lot of blown glass, but hey, it's beautiful and it's peaceful. One of the other great things in Seattle is the Museum of Flight. It is the Boeing Museum. And so you can see there are all the great planes. As we walk around here, you're going to see there's some UAVs, some unmanned aerial vehicles. And I had never seen these before, but you can see this unmanned aerial vehicle here. It's stealth. It's beautiful, and on the bottom there is an SR-71. Another great highlight of the Boeing Museum, if you are in the city of Seattle, is this great Concorde. As you can see, the nose drops so the pilot can see the runway. How cool is that? We're going to walk in here, and you're going to go to the left, and you're going to see the great cockpit in this Concorde. You know, the Concorde was the first supersonic passenger aircraft. It could fly from New York to London in 2 hours and 53 minutes. It could go twice the speed of sound. However, the fuselage, as you can see, is very long but very narrow. Only four people across can fit this, and the maximum passengers was 128. It has a range of 3,900 nautical miles, and its maximum takeoff weight is about 408,000 pounds. Oh, and it's long, All right, though. we're going to look to the it's left the here, and you're going to see the restroom in the Concorde. And the prices of these Concords, because they didn't hold very many passengers, cool. was you know pretty steep. It was very expensive. <laughs> you can see there is the wing on the big Concorde. Wing. It's the big Delta, Delta wing. wing, and this allows the aircraft to go very fast. What you're seeing here is the Air Force One that Nixon went to visit the Chinese in, as well as the rear of the Concorde. You can see those giant engines that long sleek fuselage along with the Delta wing that allowed this aircraft to go Mach 2.04. In contrast to the Concorde is the Boeing 747. This is a large, long range, wide body passenger and cargo jet. This jet could handle up to 467 seats and it's still in service. However, something that's not in service is these very fashionable stewardess outfits from the late 60s. You can see the gloves, the hats, the boots, the scarves, the, the skirt, just looks fantastic. A little more about the Boeing 747. It's capable of achieving speeds of Mach 0.9, which is almost the speed of sound. Its range is 7,730 nautical miles. Max takeoff weight is 987,000 pounds. It can handle 10 seats across versus the Concorde's four seats across. It is a quad jet, which means it has four jet engines, two on each wing. And take a look as we scroll down at the Chinook helicopter. And not to be missed, if you visit the city of Seattle, is the Space Needle. Unparalleled views of the city and the bay. Make sure you check that out. All good stuff, but the star of this show is the 2021 Ford Explorer Limited. And we chose a four-wheel drive model for good reason. We traveled all over the states of Washington and Oregon. At one point, we had to drive 20 miles on a dirt road, and some parts of the road were washed out and fairly difficult to traverse. And so we were glad that we had a vehicle with the capability of the 2021 Ford Explorer Limited. 
What you're looking at here is Skyline Trail on Mount Rainier. It's actually one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen. You can see the snow-capped mountains, the trees, and the meadows. A very beautiful place. All right, I mentioned earlier in the video that there was a location we had to travel over 20 miles on a dirt road. This is the location. These are the Cascade Mountains. And you're gonna look here and you're gonna see a bunch of rubble. And if you look real closely, I think there was a critter running around in the rocks there. But you can see the rubble coming off the top of the mountain. And it was also very exciting for us to see actual mountain goats on the top of a mountain. We had heard that they are rare and sometimes seen, and we were able to see some. Wow, it's so high, it's so high. Another relatively remote location we visited was the Timberline Lodge on Mount Hood, Oregon. This is where the exterior shots of the 1980 classic movie, The Shining, were filmed, and it was directed by Stanley Kubrick. We're gonna walk from the left-hand side of the lodge toward the center. It's actually a very nice hotel, but this actually was not the hotel that inspired The Shining. This is. It's the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado. So there's an additional shot. And if you go in, there's actually an axe behind the counter where you check in and they'll let you take pictures with it. We did go to Portland for a day. We were not too impressed. There's a lot of homeless people there, a lot of problems. One thing we were impressed by though was Burnside Park. It's under a bridge. And you can see the skateboard community here is fantastic. Lots of fun. And the donuts at Voodoo Donuts are not to be missed. And now for the star of the show, this 2021 Ford Explorer Limited. I do think this is a very attractive vehicle. I think it looks good um, from pretty much every angle. I think the body looks good. I think the wheels and tires look good. I like the chrome accents. The interior is very high quality. I like that the windows are tinted. Very nice vehicle. So, but it not only looks nice on the outside, it is a very capable vehicle as well. The engine has lots of power, which we'll talk about later, but it also has no less than seven drive modes. Normal, trail, deep snow sand, number four is slippery, five is sport, six is tow or haul, and seven is eco mode. Let's open up the door. First off, I'll tell you that I partially like the seats in this vehicle. They are nice quality leather, perforated leather, which breathes well. They're heated and cooled, but they don't have armrests. They're not captain's chairs. And on 200 mile trips, that can be a problem. Here's an example on my wife's 2016 Honda Pilot. And there was also this very bright blue light in the headliner that was very annoying. Other than that though, this interior is super high quality leather, super high quality materials. You can see that great screen there. It has Apple CarPlay. If you look on the door here, you can see, there it is, a Bang and Olufsen sound system, a premium sound system, and it sounded premium. All right, there's some storage that you can open up there and it's pretty significant, cup holders. There is the drive select. You twist that to go into the different um, drive and park. There's how you select your drive mode. That's how we got out of some of those messes on that 20 mile dirt road. <laughs> so the high quality interior follows to the rear seats as well. As you can see, there's a climate control system right there um, for the backseat passengers. There's also a place to plug in your phone. There's a 12 volt, there's storage. And as we look at the headliner, there's a light, a place to put your clothes and a air conditioning register. Here we go to the third row, plenty of leg room, nice quality leather. And as we look to the left here, you'll see there's a cup holder, there's a place for storage, there's a tie down, there's a Bang & Olufsen sound system speaker back there. What a nice place to be. As we go to the rear of the 2021 Explorer Limited, it has an automatic tailgate, which is convenient. Lots of storage. There's a panel you can lift up in the middle. There's a panel on the left. There's a panel on the right. And you saw that tie down there on the right as well. You pull those straps and the third row seat goes down for more storage. 
And there you just saw that great subwoofer for that Bang & Olufsen sound system. One of the things that this vehicle absolutely has is power. Whether we were on the freeway or whether we were on the 20 miles of dirt road, this vehicle had plenty of power. I assumed that it had a V6 motor. However, this 2021 Explorer Limited four-wheel drive has an intercooled turbo I4. It's actually a 2.3 liter. It gets 20 city and 27 highway. It actually has, get this for a four cylinder, it has 300 horsepower and 310 newton meters of torque. It can tow 5,300 pounds. So this was the biggest surprise for this vehicle. It handled so well, it had so much power. I just assumed it had a V6 engine, but it doesn't. One of the other things that you may have noticed there is that bar that goes across the engine. That really gives this chassis a lot of rigidity and great handling. One of the last things I'll share with you is the instrument panel in this Explorer. As you can see, it has, some people call it Distronic, otherwise known as radar operated cruise control. So you could control how close or how far you are away from the car in front of you, and you don't have to worry about the gas or the brakes. Next time on Twin Turbo, we have a very exciting episode for you. It's our 11th episode, and we are gonna share with you how to find the car of your dreams, how to look for the right mileage, how to look for the right price, for the right year, for the features you're looking for, and to do it in the easiest way possible, how to find the right color that you want. We're going to show you how to do that. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.